Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to save a picture to a transparent layer. So you go and you load up your picture. And this one, I, I haven't cut it out or anything, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I go to select and then go over to image and go to scale image because I want the image to be a little bigger. Uh, hopefully the audio will be better than this. And then I go to my paths tool and I just left click all around it put in the little little markers there so anyway yeah like I was saying I hope the audio is better this time around uh, I found that if I use uh, shadow play which is a program in my graphics card that allows me to do audio and video while I screen you know record my screen or games or whatever uh, that the audio comes out pretty rough on that so I'm narrating it uh, with uh, Windows Movie Maker. So hopefully it'll be better. I don't know. I don't know that it will be. So anyway, yeah, you just keep going around. I probably should have chosen a little bit smaller or a little bit uh, angular picture to do. That way it wouldn't have taken so long. Yeah, you'd think that I'd be a little bit faster having rotoscoped uh, uh, that Star Wars film. I did uh, all the fight scenes. I rotoscoped in uh, in GIMP. There is a plugin on the GIMP website uh, for doing video, and it breaks it down into single images. Okay, so once you finish that, you go up to select, and you say from paths and you go to edit and cut now I tried to use an eraser and just erase everything you know because that leaves you with a blank background or a transparent background didn't work and I thought well it must be because I have that area selected that's why it's not working and you know I tried making it bigger you know <laughs> tried everything and obviously it didn't work Yep, that didn't work either. I was able to get rid of the color though. Look at there. Pretty cool. So anyway, so I go down to the create new layer and I did a transparent layer and I deleted the old layer by layer by right clicking on it and going down to the to delete. And for some reason I go back to the eraser again and then find my moving tool and I actually right there I hit control V which actually luckily brought up the picture which was kind of amazing and then you would go down to the right hand corner and at some point I figure it out and anchor the picture because right now it's floating it's on a floating layer so I anchor it and of course once I make the image bigger I realize I'm off center so I go up to undo undo it center it go ahead and center it and there it goes so what you would do was you would be if you're trying to save this to a or you know send it to a program so you can use it for something particular you go to file and then you would go down to export to and then you would call up that uh, address for it so that's how you do that Thanks for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.